Hey, 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 it's your girl, Minister Nay, back with another episode of The Holy Breakdown. So today I am reading John chapter 14, and I'm going to start at verse 12 through 14. And this is the NCV that I am reading. First, I'm going to start off with a quick prayer real quick. Lord, we thank you for this day. Thank you for this moment. Thank you for moving in our lives, the way that you move in our lives, whether we see it or we don't see it. Lord, we thank you in advance. We thank you for the things that you've done in the past and the things that you're currently doing, Lord. We just thank you for being you. Lord, thank you for this word. I pray that you show up and let this word be your word, your truth, so that your people will understand it, they will get it, and they will be able to get closer to you. Lord, I pray this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. So like I said, I am starting John chapter 14, verses 12 through 14. NCV version reads, I tell you the truth. Whosoever, let me read. I tell you the truth. Whoever believes in me will do the same things that I do. Those who believe will do even greater things than these because I am going to the Father. And if you ask for anything in my name, I will do it for you so that the Father's glory will be shown through the Son. If you ask me for anything in my name, I will do it. So that is verses 12 through 14. So I'm going to break them down bit by bit and start at verse 12. Jesus says, I tell you the truth, whoever believes in me will do the same things that I do. Those who believe will do even greater things than than these because I am going to the Father. So what that means is all of these wonders and miracles and things that we have known Jesus to have done for people and throughout history, Jesus is telling us, he's promising us, it's like he's giving us a, a guarantee that those who believe in him, whoever believes in Jesus will do the same things that he's doing, that he has done. But he's promising you that you're going to be able to do even greater than what he has done because he's going to the father. That's the difference here. Had you would have done these things prior, they would have been good things and good works but they couldn't have been great or been magnified because Jesus had not paved the way to show us the way, nor had he went before us and went to the father on our behalf. Come on. So that's verse 12, verse 13 says, and if you ask for anything in my name, I will do it for you so that the father's glory will be shown through the son. Now, this is what really brought me to record this video because So often as we were growing up and throughout life, you hear people say, oh, ask anything in the Lord's name and it'll be given to you. Ask anything in the Lord's name and as long as you say in Jesus name, it's yours. And people build up this false hope or this false belief that I can ask the Lord of anything and he's going to deliver it right then and there. Or he's going to give me everything that I ask for, which I'm not saying that the Lord isn't going to deliver. Because he says in verse 13, anything that you ask of in my name, I will give to you. But you have to catch the key part of this. And it's the end of that sentence. He says, and if you ask for anything in my name, I will do do it for you. So that the father's glory will be shown through the son. That is the key part of this whole entire thing. The Lord will give you anything that you ask of in his name, as long as it brings glory to the father through the son. You got to get that. That is the key part that we don't really hear or that people don't emphasize. They tell us the, the good part. Oh yeah. Ask of anything in the Lord's name and it shall be given to you. Yeah, he said that. (laughs) He definitely said that. That's in the word. That is a promise. But he also said, so that it can bring glory to the father through the son. So Jesus is not going to just be out here giving you a million dollars just because you asked for a million dollars in his name. He will build you up 
to a status to where you're making millions of dollars to where you have no choice but to say, but God. Oh, I got this from God. Nobody could have done this. Nobody could have moved me. This could not have happened unless it was the Lord. You have to get that part. That is the key part. Anything that you ask for in Jesus' name will be given to you as long as it brings glory to the Father through the Son. And then verse 14, Jesus is basically repeating the promise. He's basically repeating himself just to let you know that, yes, (laughs) this is what I said. And he says, if you ask me for anything in my name, I will do it. But that's just repeating the promise. If you ask for anything in my name, I will do it so that it brings glory to the Father through the Son. So you can ask of anything. Get it in your mind and get it in your heart. And that's something that you really, 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 really want. And Lord, this is what I really, 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 really want. And the Lord will bring you to that thing. He will get you to that thing. But The process, (laughs) I guess is what I'm trying to get you to understand, that you can have anything that your heart desires, anything that you want, anything that you ask of in the Lord can be yours. But the process is the Lord's. (laughs) That process belongs to the Lord. Because Jesus is going to make sure you get that thing, guaranteed. You're going to do greater than he because I am in heaven now. Because I am here with the Father, I got some say-so in this thing. I can back you up in this thing. But that process is going to be to the Lord. You're going to go through that process so you can say, nobody got me through but God. It was no way that I could have, have figured that thing out unless the Lord. As long as the process is given to the Lord, and the Lord can guide you and get you there and get you to that thing the way that he wants you to get to it, it is yours. It is yours, guaranteed it is yours. I can say that it's yours, guaranteed, because the Lord repeated itself. He repeated himself. He's a a, a God and a Lord all in himself that he doesn't even have to repeat himself But he repeated himself just so that you know my word is my word. What I say is true. I would give you anything that you ask of in my name. Just so long as my father gets the glory. Just so long as my father gets the glory. Ask of the things of your heart. And be pure and be genuine with that thing. Make sure that it brings glory to the father and just know that that process, that process, that process, that process, I'm telling you, that process is going to be something so, I want to say so intense, so gifted, so unique. These are the words that are are popping in my head. That is the the process. And it's going to have to be a process because if you don't go through the process, then how do you know your power, your strength. How do you know that this is this is a God, that this is a Lord? You could be somebody that's on the brink of trying to, you on the fence. You're like, yes, I believe and I have seen some things, but I'm just, uh, I just can't really, really figure it out. Lord, I'm asking you for this thing. And Lord, if you do this thing, then I'm going to know that this was you. And guess what? Because Jesus has already gone ahead of you. Because he's backing you up. Because he wants your heart to be filled with everything that you desire. He's going to put that thing into play. It's probably already been in action. But now that you done spoke on it and you done brought it up. Now that he can move that thing. So, again, I just say. Don't build up that false hope. Of, oh, I'm asking the Lord for something. I'm asking him and I've been asking him and been asking him and it hasn't been delivered. I haven't received it. So how can God be God if he doesn't, he hasn't done this for me or, you know, don't question. 
Don't question. Because he could be moving you in silence. <laughs> he could be moving you in silence. The Bible says sometimes the prophets had to go by night. Going by night is moving in silence. He's not showing you every move. The sun is not up so you can see your shadow and can be seen. Whatever he's doing could be so protected that he don't even want the enemy to even, to even get a glimpse. So he's moving you in silence. He's moving you in the dark. <laughs> when you think that things are getting chaotic and getting hectic, he's just making it familiar territory for the enemy. So that he can get you up out of that thing quicker. Come on, somebody. The Lord said, there is no darkness that he cannot come and shine light. There is no darkness, no path, no nothing that he cannot see his way through. The world was dark. The Lord said, let there be light. And there was light. Sometimes it got to get hectic. <laughs> it got to get chaotic. It has to be so intense. Because it has to be familiar for the enemy to throw him off. He, okay, okay, yeah, I'm doing something. Oh, they got problem after problem. It's showing up for him. Not knowing that everything that the enemy put out there for your, the, the, everything that the enemy meant for your bad, the meant for worse, meant to harm you, meant to hurt you. The Lord is working that thing to turn it around for your good. Everything that the enemy sent your way that was supposed to harm you or damage you, throw you off course. The Lord meant that thing for good. He can have you standing in the midst of the jungle, but yet and still you don't get touched. You won't be seen. Come on. Come on. You know you in the jungle because you know your surroundings. You know what it's feeling like. You can feel that heat hitting up off you. You can see that you got to be in survival mode all around at all times. But you're not feeling the effects. You're not feeling the full effects. You're not hiding and being hunted. Come on. Come on. It's like this old saying goes. You know, it can be, be thankful for what you got or where you at. Because it could always be way worse. It's always somebody going through something way worse. And that, and that is just, what just popped in my mind, it just goes hand in hand because your situation can always be way worse. Just because you don't see the Lord moving doesn't mean he's moving. You're not dead yet. <laughs> if you're not six feet underground, guess what? The Lord is moving on your behalf. He's working on your behalf. He's moving on your behalf. Everything that you're asking them for from when you were <laughs> yay high on up, it may not have came to you when you were seven. You might not have gotten it at 14, 16, 21, 23. It might have took you till you was 40, till you was 33, 37. Who knows? 52. Before that thing actually hits and takes off. It's all in the Lord's timing. But guess what? We have to be obedient to the Lord's word. <laughs> we have to be obedient to the Lord's word. And we have to go through that process in order to get to where it is that we want to be at that success. To get to that next level. To get to get to the Lord, basically. To get to the things that are on your heart, your heart's desire. To get to those things that are just. Just waiting, those happy things, those good things that are waiting to come up out of you. So I'm going to read the scripture one more time. And I'm first, I'm going I'm to say a prayer because I'm going to say, Lord, thank you. Thank you, Lord, for showing up, for bringing this word forth. Because everything that I just spoke of was pretty much nothing of what I had in mind or nothing of what I even thought of that ignited me or started me on even recording the video. Um, <laughs> just. Thank you, Holy Spirit, because as I'm speaking the word, I'm receiving the word. So as I'm speaking it, I'm receiving the message that the Lord is putting out there because these are not my words. <laughs> these are not my words. And it's a message for me as it is a message for you. 
And so as I'm I'm telling you these things, I'm listening to myself as I'm trying, I'm trying to listen to myself as I'm speaking. And I'm just so thankful, Lord, that you would even even take the time to just even break it down. Thank you for your wisdom, <laughs> for your knowledge, for your understanding. Just thank you. I pray that everything that we do, everything that I do, brings nothing but glory to your name. Every day that you get nothing but the glory because of nothing but you. I cannot sit here and even pretend or even try to say that this is me because it is nothing but you, nothing but you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And so I thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I can never thank you enough for the things that you've already done, let alone what you're doing now or what you'll ever do in the future. So, Lord, I just pray that you continue to humble my heart and continue to pour your word into me and continue to motivate me and keep me encouraged so that I can continue to pour and share your word with your people. I pray that you continue to remove all fears, continue to build me up and to show me just how powerful I am in you because you are in me, just how strong I am and just how able, <laughs> how able I am to do what it is you have called me to do. And so, Lord, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. In Jesus' most precious, powerful, and humbling name, amen, amen, amen. And again, I'm going to read the scripture one more time, and then I will be signing off. (laughs) So this is John chapter 14, and this is verses 12 through 14, and this is the NCV. I'm trying to get my emotions and everything together, so. Just bear with me on this one, but yeah, 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 yeah. So it says, I tell you the truth. Whoever believes in me will do the same things that I do. Those who believe will do even greater things than these because I am going to the Father. Verse 13 says, and if you ask for anything in my name, I will do for, I will do it for you so that the Father's glory will be shown through the Son. 14, if you ask for anything in my name, I will do it. And so I hope that this message reaches you. It brings you some type of clarity, understanding. It just brings you a little bit closer to the Lord or a little bit closer to where it is you're trying to go or where you're trying to get to. Again, I am your girl, Minister Ney, and I am signing out. Peace.